I'll start vlogging when I finish this thing. Hey everybody, welcome to Fanboy Friday. It's November 6th. And before I get into the fanboy portion of this video, I just want to go over a couple things I read this morning. First off, the Governor Chris Christie and Governor Mike Huckabee have both been dropped from the main debate for the upcoming Fox Business debate. They're now on the undercard, or what we all currently refer to as the kids' table, which is sad for them, but even sadder is Lindsey Graham and George Pataki have been dropped altogether. They have fallen from the kids' table to the no table. Now, the reason why these things happen is all based on the average of polls that they look at. So if you poll too low, you get moved down or out altogether. Now, is that a fair way to figure out who's going to be on the debate and who America gets to see? I'm not really sure. That's debatable. But that is the way it's run right now. Also, there was a new job support released today, and the unemployment rate has fallen to 5%, and that's a seven and a half year low. Funny, what happened almost seven and a half years ago? Hmm. No, seriously, I can't wait for the people who really hate Obama to come out and say, well, that's not the real unemployment number, because they're going to add in people who are underemployed or people who stopped looking for work. And not to say that those numbers are not important, but those aren't the numbers that have been used traditionally. So if you're going to compare apples to apples, then you have to use the same metric. Otherwise, you're going to say people like Ronald Reagan had an unemployment rate that was super low instead of super high because you didn't add in the same number of people. <sighs> So on to Fanboy Friday, which actually kind of segues nicely from doing little tidbits about politics, because today's fanboy subject is Rachel Maddow. When I first started getting into politics about mm, eight years ago, I bounced around a lot of different networks trying to figure out who I wanted to listen to, who I felt was trustworthy, who I felt delivered the information in a way that I thought was fair, balanced, but yet also interesting and entertaining. And honestly, in my opinion, there's no one out there that does it better than Rachel. Now, she's a Rhodes Scholar. She's now basically the face of MSNBC News. And tonight, actually, tonight, November 6th, in South Carolina, she'll be doing a forum with the Democratic candidates. So Martin O'Malley, Bernie Sanders, and Hillary Clinton will all be there and I will definitely be listening. And one of the things I really like about her is that she does attack people, both Democrats and Republicans, although she personally is liberal, and you can tell that, yes, she goes after Republicans more than Democrats, but she calls out hypocrisy when she sees it, and yet she does it in a way that is entertaining, that's interesting, but not What's the word I'm looking for? But not petty and childish. While she might make up certain names for certain politicians, like when she called Governor Bob McDonald from Virginia Governor Ultrasound because he passed a bill forcing mandatory ultrasounds on people looking for abortions, that's a lot different than just calling a politician a slime ball, a jerk. You know, something childish and personally slanderous. She doesn't stoop to the level that I see of many other commentators out there when they attack people they don't like. And she also tries really hard to reach out to those people that she disagrees with or reach out to people that she's reporting on and bring them on, whether or not they're telling the side of the story or the opinion that she personally believes in. She tries to give the platform to everyone who wants it. But when they do come on, she doesn't softball them. She challenges them on their ideas, not because she's trying to prove a point or to try to win over them, but she's trying to show them the respect of her intelligence and the facts that she knows to be true forcing that guest to prove their mettle, to prove that they know what they're talking about. And all of those things wrapped together make her someone that I duly respect. And anytime a friend of mine is going to New York and they say they're going to visit 30 Rock, I always say, oh my god, go steal something of Rachel Maddow's or go steal Rachel Maddow. Okay, that came out creepy. Just get me swag. So that's my Fanboy Friday for this week. Hope you guys have a great Friday. Hope you are looking towards a great weekend. Oh, and quick programming note. I'm going to be moving the Motley Stew show from Saturday uploads to Sunday uploads for two reasons. One, I find Sunday kind of works better with the theme of the show because that's really the news day. That's when all the news shows happen. That's when all the political stuff goes on. So I feel like that fits better. And also it gives me a whole nother day to kind of prep the show, to kind of like do the post-production, make it nice and tight, make it clean, kind of put up the graphics that I want. It gives me just extra time time to get it done. So stay tuned for this Sunday show where I'm bringing in a topic that might be kind of controversial, but it's a very interesting one. So that's that. And as always, be good to each other.